All right, we're back. Should be back. <clears throat> Need to refresh the old. Bring that, see what happens. All right, let me type in the chat. Oh, yeah, tell me about the rules, why don't you? Oh, actually, I better do that before I forget. Um, chat appearance is time stamped for new messages. And then I need the. Actually, mod icon should have been there somewhere, I think. No. Where's mod icons? Yeah, up the top there. Yeah, excellent. There we go. <clears throat> uh, now let's see what we got here in the way of. There we go, 1080p. That was because good old um, OBS sets it automatically um, when you first load it up, which obviously I did because I redid Windows. Uh, to um, 1280 by 720. Uh, I'm on my way in now, and you should be seeing me soon-ish. Did I just get another notification, did I? I laugh if I did. Uh, the, well, excuse me, Discord bot was just pinging you a second going live. Uh, let me see, that, 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 that oh, didn't. Right, let's see how we do in this. Okay, um, synchronizing. I might as well get these other ones set up for uh, other jobs. If there is any. Actually, I saved that one? Yeah, I did. Well, field what? 32. Don't forget to set your um, thing back up. Uh, your, your worker unloader. Oh, Not that he pays attention to me, but yeah. <laughs> I don't know, maybe you will now with my update. Who's to know? Any other plow uh -huh. jobs? Do. Actually, what am I doing? I got a feeling I was sewing yesterday. You make these bits stuck. Hey, hey, hey. I was doing sewing yesterday. Um. All right, let's get the hard work on to this. You can finish that off. <clears throat> and then once we've actually finished harvesting, I might look at, oh, we'll actually be going for a little bit. But I wouldn't mind doing a bit different jobs as well, a bit of um, seeding and 
What not? We're on one time speed. What the hell? Let's just do it. We'll worry about it after. No, your poppy guy's gone off. So he still wasn't actually. Well, before the interruption, I had filled him up, but of course he didn't react to me being full. Um, and it's obviously now at 90%, he's up to his limits, so uh, just before he tangled himself up, I sent him off. And now he should be corrected and on course. I've also got to reset my button, um, those two. The sound on this, uh, what have we got, farming some... Radio. I was wondering why I was sort of struggling to hear you, it's because my headphone is um, a little bit low. Well, gosh darn, and here I was thinking it was just because I'm mumbling like normal. Oh, you son of a gun. I'm trying to um, just turn the sound down again, and what do you know? It accidentally got tabbed out of the game. And there we go, that's sped up. <clears throat> Sometimes with an alt, alt tab out of the game, it will. Um, I'm still going quite loud actually on the mic side of things. I'm pressing it a second. Oh, this truck drives back faster than I expected. Oh no, the drop's only around the corner. Yeah, sometimes when I alt-tab out of the game, it will um, lose the settings for G-Hub, and the steering becomes very, very stiff. I've just dropped it a bit more on the old microphone through OBS this time and see how we go with that. Mind you, if I do it on the microphone end of things, um, then it might not start picking up me the other bits and pieces. And then again, I'll probably have to low down uh, the noise gate. <laughs> Because <laughs> it won't pick up everything, but yeah, now I've got the setting with the compressor to uh, increase the low sounds and reduce the high sounds. Um, it seems to be working pretty well. Well, I might change the ratio a bit, that might help out a bit. And I was about to say, oh, you probably need a sound engineer to straighten this out for you, but thinking on it, you're probably more of a professional sound engineer than I am. Oh, it's the, um... Uh, the compressor is a bit of a, a thing I had to redo, redo, and try and figure out how that worked. Um, at the moment I've got a ratio of 3 to 1. Um, so every three decibels it gets dropped by one. So maybe I need to change that to a two to one. What are you doing? What are you doing? Where are you going, buddy? Uh, I think I had it three and a half before. But now I've actually... I didn't realise... Uh, um, 
I knew that it, it can um, increase the low sounds, so it becomes more even, you know, so the range is more even. Um, <clears throat> narrower, if you will. But I didn't know which button to do that and the other bits and pieces. Because you've got to be careful how you do it, otherwise it starts distorting your voice and you don't sound right and everything else like that. And my problem with the noise gate is, is I've got to set it to a point where I don't want my keyboard to come through, but the microphone picks up quite a lot. And then I have it at that level, because I talk at different levels as well. It used to cut all, everything I said off, and sometimes I know that I talk a little too fast, even though I'm unaware of it. I hear it when I rewatch videos, so I'm trying to be conscious of that. And I've reduced the attack on how quick it reacts to the sounds and everything else like that. So hopefully, I've sort of got it all right now, but like I said, it's still going into the red. So I might do a two to one ratio. I'm assuming that's every two decibels it gets dropped by one, or even a two and a half, and that might bring it down a bit as well. A good microphone setup would be really, really nice, but I don't think that's going to happen. Well, not for a long, long time, anyway. I've, I've done what I wanted to do, and now I've got a whole pile of other stuff I've got to buy for before December. I've got to buy new shoes, two pairs, a good pair for a wedding and a normal walking around pair. And hopefully farming some. And I might actually need a new um, AIO because my pump's ticking a bit. And depending if that ticking's going to get worse, and it's a sign that I really, really need to um, get a new one. It depends on how urgent I need to get that. And then I wouldn't mind some M2, M.2s sticks for the uh, motherboard, but they're expensive. But they're not a must-have or a need-to-have, they're just a want-to-have. And another screen would be nice too, to be honest. So I can have um, Discord up, and OBS up, and anything else I need. Without having to alt-tab all the time bring these things up yeah running triples is pretty handy It's annoying that the auto drive doesn't work for you, eh? Well, automatically anyway. I mean, telling it to... Like right now, I've just got him doing the delivery run again. I just told him to step forward so he goes off and does the delivery. Uh, we just oh, got the in income for that. Yeah, I was going to say 43 is done, by the way. <laughs> oh, okay. Heart attack. Um, <clears throat> field 82 saw you beans. I thought I was on field 82.
You want to do some more harvesting? Can do. I was just thinking because we've got a lack of um, other contracts, and that'll be because everything's got some um, crop on it, and hopefully it does actually uh, weather. But. We'll do it anyway. I wonder how this, uh, I'm just seeming to think, how would this cotton, uh, this hemp and tobacco work with the cotton harvester? Is it going to chuck it out as a bale? Hmm. Good point. Because, I mean, I don't know about the tobacco, but the hemp, you could say, oh, yeah, it shreds it down to fibres and bales it that way, but... Yeah, it's an interesting thing. I just thought of it then because we've got a lot of contracts for that and I thought, well, maybe we should actually look towards getting that getting that up and going, oh, I better give you that contract though. I'm thinking about it, 82. That set contract. Uh, that'll be going so you can set your truck up. That'll be going to, um, I just was on it, uh, the warehouse. Turbines are going to the warehouse. <coughs> <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah, I tried to do a U-turn to go back towards the boo when I sent him off and uh, found the pump. Well, mate, yeah, I might have to adjust that course there. It was a quite uh, tight turn there, so... Yeah, the other option is just set it as a um, low-usage road so it doesn't try and prioritise it for a U-turn. Yeah, I'll just move it so it goes through to the other side, at least get plenty of um, room to move there. Yeah, if you point it that way, if you just go up the road a little bit and point it that way, I'll make it to the boo because it's only one way hmm. from there onwards. So let's have a look at this. So we've got cotton technology. Now this comes with the map uh, for 250 grand. This does cotton, tobacco, and hemp. The six meter width. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay. Uh, double. I was gonna say it's 40,000. Oh yeah, 40,000 liter, but that's um, doesn't tell you what style of fill that it uses. Oh, so maybe we might get a couple of them and give them a go today, eh? What do you reckon? Well, one option is just lease one for a day just to get it started and see what it looks like and then work from there. Uh, we could do, but we're probably going to end up buying I mean, the thing is, is we buy them, we go straight to the field, If it, see how it works. If it doesn't, not to our liking, we can sell it anyway and get all the money back because we're on seasons. There's cotton and fields and everything as well we could do. We could do that, we could try that out once I finish this. I think this field would... Oh no, it's alright with the one harvester. Um, the thing is, is, I'm just thinking, we need more harvesters. If we buy more harvesters, we're going to need more trucks and tippers. The more harvesting we could do, there's more fields that will require ploughing and all that, which gives us an option to do different things. Done a lot of baling, done a lot of harvesting, done, haven't done much cultivating, much ploughing, mount seeding at all. I was just thinking, oh, you probably wish it was like Dyson Sphere, where you could just lay conveyors right around the sides of the fields and just dump onto that. And I thought, who would run a conveyor belt in real life that long? Oh, wait. My hometown. I saw a YouTuber do that. He did a. Um, he was big on trying to break games. Yeah, was that um, Color Still Games or something silly? Grey Still Plays. Yeah. <laughs> and he grabbed. He, he did FS19 and he, he did a big potato field and then um, ran conveyor belts from the potato field all the way to where it was to be sold. 
He did some funny stuff. He he set up a um, a corn header like this. He turned a whole um, Ravenport map into one huge field, and then um, turned one of these headers into the width of about the width of the map, yes. <laughs> basically. Yeah, there's also texture swapping the wheat to be money, just as a joke. Yeah. Uh, for the same style YouTuber, I tend to prefer uh, Josh of Let's Game It Out. Especially very satisfactory stuff. He does a lot of, like, spends eight hours for a five minute payoff. <laughs> oh, I, like, I really like I haven't watched him for a long time. Great still plays. He had a great sense of humor. I got into him because of my summer car, and that's what he, um, he came well known for. And then he just plays a lot of indie games, and then, yeah, his sense of humor is absolutely brilliant. Why have I got that up? Why oh, are you loaded? I'm not mowing in this. Let's go and care for a bit for a change, shall we? Yeah, quite a lot of my hometown, well, my old hometown, because uh, where they stored the iron ore for shipping, uh, was on one side of a dock and there's like a secondary dock on the other side but there's no way to easily get the stuff over the height of a ship for like one kilometer of water so they literally built a conveyor belt that goes a long way around and follows the road and halfway through the city and everything well the city halfway through the back end of everything chasing the train lines so if they I think it's either they had issues with train lines or they wanted to balance how much was stored between the two sites. Uh, they literally have a conveyor belt that runs the whole way from one side to the other. I wonder if I can And it never stops. <laughs> Please work with auto drive. I forgot we, we've changed our tippers and got rid of the uh, over the top ones as in the 400,000 litre capacity ones. <laughs> and um, this one's already 70% full. Mind you, I've got uh, a fair amount of tank on me. I don't think he's going to come over until I'm about 80%, is he? He's not going to be able to empty, empty me out completely. I just requested your assistance. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. No. Wonder how that's going to look in 22. There's going to be 3D textures in there in the tank. Oh, hello. So speaking of wake up, I've reached the end. I'm not too sure because I could have sworn I did see somewhere where they were unloading into a trailer and it was like why don't they just copy that because I mean, essentially the uh, like straw chopping is just an effect which obviously the pouring follows the same sort of style um, so it should be changed but I can't remember if it was or not yeah but they did I, I watched um, a, a YouTube stream of uh, one of the Giants developers, head developers, and one of the well, programmers, whatever they are, and one of the uh, the guy in charge of Q and A, um, showing a bit off, and that's where I saw the the weather effects and stuff for FS22. It's the only thing I've really looked at, and they did show um, emptying into a trailer because I was showing off a new brand of trailer and the tires that go well, new brands of tires. And what the tyres look like. But I actually didn't even think about it, really, when um, otherwise I would have said, yeah, they've changed it. Uh, when they sort of emptied it in, the only thing I was looking at was I was sort of looking at the um, ground textures, how much better they looked on the field and everything else with the 3D texture. Um, how the wind was interacting with the crop, which, or how the crop was interacting with the wind, shall I say, which was amazing. I still love the background on this map. It's so good. And um, more importantly, yeah, I saw I saw the straw come out, the chopped straw come out, and um, yeah, that that has a three D texture. So if they've done that, surely they would change this. I just hope 
beyond hope and um, those watching I, I haven't kept up with what's coming out they haven't read the Friday fact street sheets I haven't watched any videos on it because I want to find all the new stuff for myself be surprised um, I don't like spoilers so I haven't kept up with that but I just hope and I doubt it will happen but I just hope these things will be interactive these screens and that and you can set your cutter width and do GPS and they actually show you proper well real uh, information instead of just static which is there whatever not doing anything your fuel gauge going down which I think you do have it on here but I can't see because it's there we go that's a bit better so I mean that screen there you get all the info on it's this screen I want and interactive buttons joystick and everything else like that I mean the joystick would probably be better if 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 you had a joystick yourself uh, you have the option to have that as interactive and stuff but then again you've got so many sh machines with different functions on it it'll probably be a bit bit of a pain possibly you working up yet over there no you're still sitting there right now So I'm just wondering what we should get next. <laughs> no, I'm not. We're getting the cotton harvester thing to try some hemp and tobacco harvesting out, aren't we? I just remembered. Everybody take cover! Which we might be doing fields together, I think, because we've only got the one... Um... Bale trailer. Yeah. Which is fine, actually, perfectly fine. Doing the one. It's not like we can get course pay to pick them up. Alright, because of course there's no automatic handling materials for them, apart from that little car sized A frame trailer, but good luck trying to get course pay to back that up. I wonder if auto drive, because auto drive's got the. Uh, auto load bales thing somewhere. Uh, collision detection is turned off. Would you know it? Uh, pathfinding, that's fine. Right. Uh, what have we got here? Oh, that's just the uh, things for things that you see. Quartering speed, 100. No, you can turn that around. That's probably the reason why your guy ended up in the pump because the cornering speed might be up to 100%. If it's turned down, I might have made it. It'll probably make a low out of me, actually. Um, unload full level, 85%. Let's bring that down to 70, shall we? Restrict path onto the field. Restrict unloaded to field. Void fruit, park and field. Cycle, pick up and deliver. I don't know what that is actually. Uh, so, but what am I looking for? Auto load. Oh, here we go. Easy auto load, unload position. Easy auto load. Oh, that's the mod though, which. Oh, we do have. Unload off, unload on, unload center, unload left, unload behind, unload right, unload off. Okay, you can set it. So, we can definitely set it off to unload. Uh, yeah. Just let me out. It's just won't be able to um, get it to. Wrong button. Uh, 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 uh. No, no, you're doing it again. Come on. You've played this game before, you know the buttons to use. But yeah, it's just a matter of picking it up off the field. So. Uh, That's interesting. 
There's possibly a way to do it, surely, with Force Bay and Auto Drive. If Auto Drive can um, unload the bales and can send it off, well, somehow you should be able to get Force Bay, sort of, if you do a course on the field like we do, for the balers and stuff, um, when we mowing, set the course and let it do a couple of headlands and then we take over and set GPS so we're right on the line of course play maybe we can get the trailer to do that with a bit of an offset and it's just whether or not getting course play to add the auto drive course which I know you can do because I did do it and um, hopefully getting it to click up to auto drive and get auto drive to drive it off and then come back and then click back into course play Things I've got to test out. Speaking of which, actually, we should be doing that at some stage. I haven't noticed any. How long have we been? Oh, so first hour. Actually, it should have been about two minutes ago. Unless it's accounting for the um, interruption. Ooh, well, that's a good point, yeah. That might be a bit out. Well, I can't find out. And it tells me. I know it's been a bit weird on my desktop side. Of, well, my spare desktop. Still with the ad block disabled, but um, it would literally flash a second of a, like, normally 20 second advert and then just straight back into the stream. I was like, uh, wait, what? <laughs> no, the ad starts in 32 minutes, so it is out because of the restart. Which is fine. I don't mind that. There'll be less ads for you this, this, uh, this stream. Just a reminder, um, well, anyone that's come along wasn't here at the beginning, and may or may not be wondering, most likely may not be wondering anyway, but um, wondering why I didn't stream yesterday, it's because my motherboard and CPU turned up and I um, chucked that in and managed to ruin my computer. No, well, I didn't. Had a bit of a heart attack when I first started up. It didn't want to work. Well, it did work, but just nothing came on the screen. But it turned out <clears throat> there was a CPU issue as in my CPU doesn't do integrated graphics and I tried to test it while plugged into the integrated graphics on the motherboard once I put in the the um, video card stuck onto that and it went fine uh, I won't be streaming on Thursday either so no Dyson Sphere this week which is a bit of a pain actually I'd, I'd love to have got one in I mean I could probably do one tomorrow but I'll see how we go, because normally, as you know, or you may not know, uh, Wednesdays are my days off, and if you don't know, currently Tuesday for me, I know for some of you it's still Monday. <clears throat> um, you're going to get in the way again? I get the feeling you're going to get right in my way again. No, you're all good this time. Well done, son. Well done. You're learning. AI that learns. Scary. Um... Yeah, otherwise Thursday, so there'll be no Dyson Sphere this week. Uh, which I suppose helps a little bit, because then this is the only thing I have an editor. I was talking earlier about my editor, and because I redid Windows and everything, um, I've lost my license to the editor, and I'm not buying another one, because it's expensive enough. And I don't really have the money for it anyway, so it wasn't due to end until the 26th of October. But it's gone off my editing software. So uh, because of that, I can't edit anything into 1080. I can only edit into 720p at 30 frames per second instead of my 1080, 60 frames per second. So that's not going to work for me. But I've basically got everything ready to go for this week. Um, that's fine up until farming some on Sunday. That's all done. 
So this one uh, won't be done until um, I've given them an email. Hopefully they can fix that, that issue. Didn't I open up the... Oh, okay. Sorry, mate. I thought I did. Maybe I had it out already. Uh, yeah, so...